microbeerviews.com all right hotter creek brewing company out of vermont just came out with this uh backseat burner um it's an american ipa they're gonna brew it year round is according to the website this is kind of their flagship beer um it comes in this really cool um very orange label of the vw bus with the old uh dog there his name is oslo he's a 150 pound bernie's mountain dog which is uh, the uh, proud um, companion of the brewer, uh, master brewer here at Otter Creek. They've got a great video online that talks about it. Um, it says, so from your stash, from our stash to your glass, Backseat Burner IPA is the first year round uh, IPA for Otter Creek. It's an American beauty that loads that has loads of juicy hops and their video is actually pretty cool about all that stuff it's a seven percent abvs 68 ibus it loads up your buds <laughs> that's a double term in this one and partake in this juicy exploration of american hops does your bottle look like a shaken up lava lamp Learn more about this phenomenon on their website. I think that's extremely creative. So, um, this, I was told, was, quote, awesome from the uh, beer store that I buy a lot of my beers from. Um, Otter Creek has done some interesting beers, none of which I think really stand out too much in their class. If you watch my other videos, you know that this is the uh, class of beer, the IPA, that I am the most particular about. So, I expect it to be awesome, um, but I am look, looking forward to loading up my palate with a flavor, flavorful, juicy hop. So, they describe this as an orange haze in terms of its, uh, its look there. It's perfect. So, it's got the perfect amount of uh, carbonation, the perf perfect white little thin, frothy, foamy head. Um, it's... Uh, Fairly filtered, I would say. A little bit cloudy, but like they said, a little bit of an orange haze. S <laughs> Smells like oranges. It's very um, kind of uh, citrus sweetie. So uh, lemons and oranges and tangerines. It's got definitely got there. Not a lot of pininess to it. The hops, um, I believe it was Cascade. In citrus and I forget the other one but the point here is the citra hops definitely are coming out in the aroma you can definitely taste that fruity tootiness to it so I was told I think I paid $11 for the six pack let's see if it's that good cheers not what I expected okay so all right, in the video on their website, I'm going to struggle with this one. They talk about how the brewmaster has kind of kept his secret recipe, kind of tight knit uh, and close to their chest because they were trying to perfect it because this was like the, the best beer they've ever brewed at Otter Creek. And they were making sure before they shared it to the public, public it was going to be perfect. It's got a real big mouthfeel to it. So. It almost, it almost tastes like a double IPA. It explodes in your mouth. It stays in your mouth. It kind of fizzes in your mouth. And it's got that big, huge, fruity flavorness to it. Um, it's very, very sweet. It's got a nice, nice kind of cascade uh, kind of finish to it. It's, it's, not real, it's not real piney. And it's fruity on the front end. It dissipates quickly, but it really has a big mouthfeel to it, which is good. It's got a weird kind of maltiness on the on the ending, which I'm going to do this again real quick here. It's different. I don't know how to peg this one. It's kind of got this maltiness like twinge in the back of your jaw that it goes away quickly, but it's... I expected more of a of a hop, uh, more pronounced, more kind of explosion with this, uh, you know, a, a gist of keep it, keep the recipe close to us. Um, 
I don't know if I'd buy it again. I wouldn't. I doubt I would. I would probably give this a three and a half. It's just, it, it seems like it's close to what they're going after. It's got nice hoppiness to it. It's really, really citrusy and sweet in the citra hops. You can definitely tell they're kind of adding to that. It's got a real kind of powerful mouthfeel to it that I think is somewhat of, of overpowering. Um, if it was like a double IPA and it was 10%, I would just get it and expect it, but it's 7%. Uh, it, it kind of is confusing. I wanted it to be better. It's not as what I thought it was. I'll finish it. I'll probably trade some of them and give them away, but I don't think I'd buy it again. I'll still give it a three and a half because I think I think it's got some characteristics to it that people will like. But if I'm totally off base, please let me know. Leave comments on our YouTube channel or our website, microbeerviews.com. Like our video if you like it. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, please. We upload all the time. We're on Facebook, we're on Twitter, and we will see you again real soon. Cheers.